Hello, fellow future corpses. I'm Will Botch, and this is Sorrow Asylum 3. What is Sorrow Asylum 3? A looping horror game, a mix of abandoned asylum and your mind's prison. Bum bum bum, which is a recurring theme with all the other ones. I played one, two, and now we're on three. One and two were a lot of fun. Made by VDOS. I don't have a cursor up, but you can check them down in the corner. There you go. Go check out their stuff. They make a lot of really fun, good horror games. You can always expect some good jump scares, creepy environments. He has a certain look to his games, and also some pretty rad music, of course. Uh, otherwise, uh, let's get into it. Am I? Oh, <laughs> I was like staring, and my my vision was going like, ooh. So I was like thinking something was going to happen like we're in a movie or something and then uh the like light like whisper going on i don't have my headphones turned up there we go i got them cranked now all right all the other ones have always taken place in the asylum so i'm trying to like re-familiarize myself with it if it's gonna be very similar Ooh, oh i don't want that that didn't really do much. But yeah, you should definitely check out his other games. I've played a lot of them. The most recent one was Smile Simulation, which I definitely recommend checking out. You might see a familiar face in that. Hello? Who are the people? Like a one was a D name, which was like a giant head that was an asshole, and then uh, uh, there was a lady that was trapped, and then we have the doctor. I want to sit there. I know it's not gonna be comfy. I know it's not really much going on, but I want to sit there. And something about, I think, uh, 15 days or something like that. A doctor comes and then, like, something happens after a certain amount of days. Hello? I don't like the lead up to that. This almost feels a little bit similar to the walkways. And then down here to the left will be my room. Nope. I was wrong. <laughs> I remember like in before it was like down the hallway to the left would be here. And then my uh, friend would be here. Oh, you get up close to the walls and your vision goes. Bleh. It was all dark. Oh, bleh. that's a weird place before a light switch. I need a bit. Of, I need a bit of time to heal. I just need time to. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> oh, Hi. It's time to go see my doctor. No, thank you. I don't want to. See, if I go to a doctor, it's going to say I have problems. And then I got to, like, take meds for those problems. And if I just don't go and see the doctor, I don't get problems. And I don't have to deal with that. So uh, I'm just going to hide out over here. Uh, let me see his uh, character sheet first. I want to see what his uh, doctrine skill is. You got any specialties? I don't know about that. Saw that. I thought that was like two eyes peering at me. All right. Hello. Yeah, something's going to spook me on that. I know that's coming. Hello. Doctor. I'm ready for my exam. You got an exam out there? Got your gloves? Got your stethoscope? Keep thinking that's a piece of paper. Hello, doctor! I'm here! I'm here for my checkup. Hi. Hello? That's not a comfortable bench. Can I get the wheelchair back there? One. Sorrow. I'll put it back. 
All right. Sorrow. You think the next word's going to be asylum? Nah, it's probably something else. I just keep having flashbacks about the other games. Yeah, again, both of them are really good. Go check them out. Go do it. Do it. Do it after this. <laughs> Please? Alright. Oh, yeah, because I, like, stick them to the wall. I think this theme's green. I think the first one was red. Second was blue, and this one's more green, I think. I could be wrong. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? 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 You know what mechanic I never use in games? Peak. And now, I just more want it for the funds, but I never use it ever in a game when it's intended to be used. Hello? It looks a bit drafty out there. Hello, doctor. I seem to be trapped. In my oh, that's a cool picture. Hi, doctor. How you doing? I recognize you. Hey, I missed you. Mm. Here you go. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take this post-it. I'll see you later. Bye. Later. Boop, 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 boo. Getting my cardio, getting my steps in, hatching some Pokemon eggs. What kind of Pokemon do you think would show up in a place like this? Oh. Let Vanessa go. Van Essa. Yeah, Van Vanessa. Van Vanessa. Van Sa. <laughs> I started like I was doing that and I just mentally like try to reverse it. So it's like Assy Nav. Asinav. Asinav. OG Asinav. Tell. <laughs> All right. Hello? Someone lives in there. We're going to meet them very soon. Right, I'm going to go put it on my wall. Boop. Oh, man, I'm getting the chills because I know stuff's going to start getting me soon. Stuff's going to start jumping out. Things are going to get creepy. Hello? That's how the Sorrow Asylum games start. Like, uh, it starts off pretty calm. First few times, you get some, uh, little bit of changes. And then, uh, you start getting hit. Getting hit hard. With things. Hello. Where are you? Doctor. By now, I at least met the other person. I'm okay with... Hi! Uh, you must be Vanessa. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I can't find a doctor either. He keeps leaving me these post-it notes. And all they say is... Green wavy lines. And a number. Oh! Help me. Help me. Help me. Protect me. You better protect me. You, you get down here and help me. I got your papers. Oh, Fuck up your paperwork! We go mad when you see what I did to your paperwork. I'll make oral gammy with him. I'll put him in my mouth. I'll make shapes known as wad of wet paper and chewed lump of paper. Fuck you. No, you don't turn off that light. I turn off that light. And I don't turn off lights. Why would I ever want to turn off a light in a horror game. That shouldn't be an option. Three. We good? Man. <laughs> you know what? This isn't far from what I sort of used to sleep on back in my high school days. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello? Oh, no, I'm, I'm feeling pretty more confident now. You've always slammed a door at me. Soon enough, the paranormal activity is going to ramp up. And I'm going to lose my confidence. Hello? Vanessa? Hi. Oh, Doc, what's up? How's it going? Let's go, my dude. I know you need more time to heal, but this place isn't for that. Man, that's not good. It's painful. Go back and stay. But, Doc, Doc, you're supposed to be helping me heal. I'm getting around this desk. I'm getting through. Don't you? You try to block, so you. I'll turn the lights off on you. I'm getting. You okay? What's wrong with your arms? Are you, are you fine, my friend? All right, well, what kind of wound do I have? Will a band aid fix it? Oh. And properly say goodbye. Bye. All right, let's go. Guess I'll go back to my room. Stay in the darkness. Uh, no? No, thank you. I don't like that sound. Well, good thing my eyes project light. Got that advanced dark vision. Something's going to grab me or something. I'm waiting for... All right, this hole is going to be quite scary sometime soon. I'm not staying in the darkness. You can't make me. I like the light. All right, I'm going to put my post it up. Bye, Doc. Ah, the chills are hitting me. Ah... Uh, Creek, creek chair. Ooh. Hey, it's you. What's up? You're so, so, it hurts. I'm sorry. It causes me sorrow to know that it's causing you pain, possibly. Be also. Trying to leave. Leave. I'm trying. Like I was going to say, Vidal always has some awesome music in their games. I'm wanting to leave, but I can't. This guy right here won't let me. Can I leave, please? I came to give you a hug. Hug. It's all right. It'll be fine. You can't cry over uh, dropped brick, so I'll, I'll help you. You just ask, is this a shirt or is that your skin? Okay, it's a shirt over your skin. Well, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to leave, so uh, don't stop me. I seem to be healed up enough. My HP is pretty good. I'm out. Later, nerd. Uh, Can you tell me how to leave? I like to leave. Like to uh, escape. Oh nope nope nope. Turn the lights back on. Oh nope 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 nope. You gotta you gotta get me first. And take your sorrow with you. I've always been trying to help you throughout the games, and now you do this to me. Why you being a jerk? Doc! Doc! Doc gone. Doc left building. Doc clocked out. Oh, okay, cool. He's down here. Hey, uh... Oh, don't go to my room! No visitors. 
You're going to... You going to help me? Where'd you go? Are you hiding under my bed? Silly. I can see that. I can see through my bed. Oh, why can I... St No, thank you. I'd rather not. I'd like to hang out here. Goodbye. Hey, neighbor. Stay in the darkness. No, thank you. You don't give me an option. That was uncalled for. I want to see your what credentials. Do you do to the doctor? Dalu. He's sick. And I'm free. Oh, no. I remember Dalu being a dick. I'm not happy about this. I did nothing to the doctor. Maybe I didn't wash my hands when I hugged him. I had poo hands or something? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you sick, Doc. You're supposed to be the one that's like resistant to diseases. But yeah, I remember Dalu being a dick. And not a fan. He's gonna be making an appearance soon. Is that a six or a nine? Break the game. Put it on upside down. I hope I can see you coming, you know. Sing, I got the doctor sick. Yeah, there he is. No, thank you. You are not friends. Oh, fuck. You. I didn't want to go near that door. I'll go here. Ooh, this place is nice. I like this room. This is a nice room. Ooh, a note! I will always be in your mind. And will be, and you will be in mine. I will always be in your mind, and you will be in mine. Aw. Yay? Boo? I guess boo. I don't think that's a good thing. Don't lose in my mind. We're all trapped in this mental prison. I'm gonna come poke your eye. I'll show you. I'll give you a paper cut. Oh, don't tell me you're my neighbor. Oh, I, I'm moving. Boop. So the doctor's sick. Vanessa doesn't want me here because apparently I'm making things worse. And we have Dalu running around, poking his head around. Oh, cool, I get to meet my neighbor. Hey, what's up? Cool. Well, I like your lighting better in here. Mm, don't like that. Boop. Oh, hey. Uh. Oh, okay. Bye. He didn't lose his love for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I'm here. Tell him that I'm here. Find your doctor and make him remember what he buried. Oh, no. Like a physical burying or a mental burying, like a memory kind of burying. What kind of bury are we going for? Yo, Doc! Yeah, uh, Vanessa's here. She's somewhere down that way. You should go uh, see her. Oh, I still can't come around the desk. And uh, I'm sorry if you're sick. I didn't mean to get you sick. Can we still be friends? I'm sorry I've fucked up your papers. All right, well, I'm going to just uh, mosey on out. Um, bye. Oh, yeah. I don't remember if I told you, but uh, Vanessa is here. Yeah, she's here. I think she's looking for you. And um, Dalu is free. Yeah, about that. I think we can all agree we don't like him. We don't want him here. He's kind of a dick. 
Remember Star Wars Asylum 2? Yeah, he was kind of a dick. So uh, if we can uh, not deal with him, if we can uh, just kind of uh, push him out, that would be uh, quite wonderful. But uh, yeah, my nose itches. Like your mask, I'm going to head out. Um, um, oh yeah. Bye. Oh, did what I was supposed to do. I'm just the messenger, so don't kill me. I'm just here trying to heal, my friend. Uh, I guess I forgot to tell you something. Oh, is this a trick? Yo, Doc. Uh, oh, Doc, the, the door's, door's open. Okay, are you hiding under the bed? You scamp. Yo, uh, okay. Cool, more basement. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. This kind of gives me a little bit of an outlasting vibes. Hello? Hello? I don't know about that. Oh. Yep. I significantly hate that more. Oh, it's just a dark corner. No. I thought there was like things over here. Like it was going to be like a darker hallway or something. And they're going to be like, go through the darkness to find the doctor, Dalu or Vanessa. Or her evil twin. As ne live live as live live. Oh, uh, Vanessa. Yeah, I went and told the doctor you're here. Mm. I like where it's going. So yeah, um, I told the doctor you were here, and he kind of went to the basement thing and uh. Uh, it didn't say much. Uh, I'm still healing. I guess you're here because you're healing too. Um, yeah, so. Bye. Keep the lights on. If you need anything. Oh, um, don't know about. Oh, yeah, this is the outside area. I like it out here. What the hell's that? Sorrow. Oh, you're cool. How do I how do I take you back to my room? Sorrow. Is that your name? Alright. Oh, um, Vanessa. Do you see this thing out here? It's pretty cool. You wanna you wanna come out and see it? It seems friendly. You wanna come out? You know. Might be able to like pet it or something. Maybe we can throw a ball or something. Oh, it's like Boop, boop. Yeah, I, I like this little thing. How do I bring this with me? I try to eat it. I could put it on a chair and push it. All right, well. I'll, yo, Vanessa. Oh, I guess I got to go in here. Oh, it's my favorite chair. Wait, this is the doctor's chair. The doctor likes this chair, too. We both like this chair. It's a comfy chair. I was expecting someone to be right there. Oh, let's go back out and talk to the thing. I've got to post it. Yo, uh... Vanessa, I got this post-it, and the doctor's chair is open. I'd recommend not sitting in it, though. I come back to you. Pet you. There we go. All right, well, bye! Bye, little sorrow thingy. Catch you later. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I'm not going to the rave hallway. Do you see a shit? Oh, I'm going to poke your eye. Oh, the disease. It smells so good. I...
That's right. He was like a weird like thing that loved the disease and mental decay and stuff of everything going on. Ooh, teeth. I'd be like picking these up, put them in my pocket. I'd collect all these teeth. I like teeth. Can we keep them? Whose teeth are these? Dream of the death. More like tooth decay. Oh, it's you again. Hey, buddy. Are you a bad thing? Are you going to hurt my body? Oh, there's the Lou again. Let's go over and see how you do him. If I collected all his teeth, I could like throw him in his face. Okay, that one didn't get me as bad since I was like walking up on them. The doctor one got me good because it just came out of nowhere. Good old screen grabber. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, hey, Vanessa. Uh, can you like open a door for me? The door is shut. Can you help me, please? Oh, thank you. No, oh, you're always disappearing. Oh, this can't be good. Hey, uh, it's all right. Nothing to be cry. Nothing to cry about. What's going on? Delu is a dick. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if that was all your teeth. I collected them. Here's a pouch of a bunch of teeth. Teeth can brighten anyone's day. At least my day. All right. Well, this seems safe. So, uh, are you gonna be okay? Like, you're the only other person here besides the doctor. And I told the doctor you were here, but he kind of uh, just ran out the door. So I don't know if that's a sign of anything. And now it's just a Lou. He smells my disease. I guess I'm not getting better. I'm healing from something. I assumed it was from a stubbed toe. That's gone really bad. But uh, everything will be fine. Um, Yeah, uh, well, if you need anything... uh. I'll be wandering the hallways. Everything hurts. Your sorrow. It hurts. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to cause a problem. Bye, Vanessa. I hope your day gets better. I know. Hey, Doc. Uh, oh, no, 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 I was about to say, I can loop this nerd. Just keep hiding. Because in, uh, I think in number one, maybe number two, we had to hide under the bed a few times to get away from him. Okay, so update on what we got going on. Uh, Vanessa, I think when we tell the doctor he, she was here, apparently my sorrow is causing suffering to her. I'm trying to remember the other games to kind of, oh, that's not good, to kind of piece together more, because each of them seem to sort of like build upon the last one. I'm going to, okay, you can turn off the lights, that's fine. I'm putting the post-it right there. Boop, I made it. I remember there being something like the doctor doesn't show up or the doctor comes or on this day or something. Are you all right? Or are you even in your room? See, I got to leave the door open when I leave my room. This can't be good. 
Hello? Oh, hi! Oh. Where is he? Oh, no, no, I don't know! hiding the doctor from No, no, leave me alone! 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 I did nothing! I tried to help you! I told the doctor you're here! I don't know why you want to probably hurt my body! Why? What is going on? Okay, I'll go in here. That's fine. I can probably loop you. The doctor is right there. Doctor is right there. Right there. Doctor. Doctor is right there. What the problem is with you? Give me back my sorrow. Have it! Let her stay here just a little bit longer. I don't know. I'm beginning to get the feeling that uh, your friendship is not the best kind of friendship. Like, uh, maybe, uh, one of those, maybe she thinks she's being helped by the doctor, but the doctor's really not helping her. And the doctor's just trying to keep her around while Dalu is enjoying this sweet, sweet disease. <laughs> the diseased mind and sorrow going on. I'm gonna have, I have a feeling I need to go to the doctor's room. The doctor's office. Everything's so blue. Uh Baba Deba today. I made a bad choice, that's fine. I thought I'd still have to head back to the doctor's office to grab like a post-it. But maybe I auto snagged it or something. Oh, post it. Well, all right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, head on to my room. Uh, see you guys later. Boop. I'm safe. I put the post it. Can't touch me. That's the rules. What kind of nightmare fueled fun do we have today? Hello? Hello? Doctor? I feel like I'm caught in the middle of all this. I think you all need to get together and work out what kind of issue we got going on here. Well, I don't... Why? We are supposed to be friends! We are supposed to be friends! I'll crab walk. I'll show you. You can't catch me when I crab walk. Everyone knows that. I'm going to the flesh coffin. Ah, he'll never know I'm in here. Dummy. Is there anything I can do? Okay, bye. I feel like I don't belong here. What? Sorrow. 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 Sorrow? Oh, shit. We don't have to post it yet. We gotta go back up. I probably have to go into that room. Yeah. Now I don't know why. Uh, why does everyone hurt me? Why? Why are you mad at me? What did I do? You are very loud. I can't come over to say hi to you. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, nope. I, I'm not allowed to. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna catch you later. I'm out of here. Bye. Syro. Syro. All right, uh, later. Just gonna go ahead and uh, pop this on my wall. Call it a uh, good night. I remember when I first played, I was always like, "What's that noise?" It's the door opening. 
Yeah, this, hey, neighbor. How's it going? Oh, well, what the hell is this? I got a thing. Oh, hands! Guess who? I'm going to say that was Vanessa because the doctor has red scaly hands. What the hell is this? Am I going to get... Uh, guess who? You know, you don't have to like sneak up on me. You can just tell me and I'll just... I can walk the... I'm watching for you this time. I'm watching for you. No! Ah, chills. Stop it. Aha, uh -huh, you're not getting me this time. Back of my ass up against the wall. Oh, no! Hello? Is there anybody out there? Oh, well. No, 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 be waiting for me but it's just empty I'm sorry hmm are you like on two different kinds of planes of existence maybe there's no way you two are missing each other in this uh, asylum it's kind of a one hallway kind of thing did you loop it enough? <clears throat> Maybe it's the loo causing problems. Hello? Oh! And what's this new thing? Who are you and where do you fit into the mix? Disappears. We're left in the dark. Oh! Not even the stars shine that bright anymore. Hey, buddy. You're fun. Alright, well, I'm gonna take this. Oh, oh, that's not a good thing. I have a feeling you're gonna be ruining my experience very soon. Excuse me? Excuse me? Still waiting for something. Oh, hi! I knew it! You're gonna come out sometime! Show up again. I'm booting you! I'm booting you! I'm booting you! Where are you at? Boop, 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 boop! Oh! Yeah! I can do this. I can hang out here. We can do this. Yeah! Yeah! Bye! They're not so bad. They just want to party. Oh, no, you don't want to party! Well, I got it. So much pain. Pray with me, diseased one. No, thank you. Make it never stop. No, thank you. Uh, passing. I don't want to. No, thank you. No. Nope, I moved chairs. I moved pew pew. Hello? 
Dalu, where'd you go? Oh, I grabbed the thingy so I can go... I'm just making sure there's no doors open. Oh, there's a door. Let's go investigate. Hello? Oh, I didn't grab it. You gotta get me. Oh, this is open. Let's go. Let's go adventure. So, Dalu, we got a problem. Okay, bye. I don't... Hey. Is the doctor in there? I need to see him. Not for you. He doesn't see dicks like you. Oh, I got your name. Be gone. Are you like a demon? Once I captured your name, your true name, I can banish you. Dalu, be gone. I got a brick. Give me a second. Grab a brick and toss it. Woo. Still waiting for something to pop through. We should probably go in here. We should not go in there. That seems bad for my health. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, as you can Maybe. see... Maybe you'll make it through. As you chose to suffer through all the pain. Maybe in the end, there's something waiting for you. Alright, so... Deleuze still here. Deleuze seems to love my, uh... My... My pain... <coughs> my pain. Which is probably some kind of, uh... Mental pains. Vanessa's always here trapped. And then there's the doctor. The first time we met... You were free... Is this a case of, like, uh, dragging uh, someone else down? Like, if this is the thing of, like, when we first met, first time we met, you were free. Like, uh, Vanessa's been trapped in this place forever. She's been, like, in every game, I believe, if I remember right. Because I'm getting the names confused with, like, Ellie from Die the Bunny. So, like, uh, if she's been trapped here forever, and the doctor's, like, seemingly... Maybe trying to help her, but at the same time, not. He's like, just a little bit longer. It's kind of like not sure if uh, he's actually trying to heal her or like enjoying the fact that she's stuck here. Maybe he just needs a friend. And then there's Delu. Delu just seems like a cosmic parasite that just likes to feed on the suffering and uh, uh, illnesses going on within this place. So he's just a general dick. And I feel like where I fit into the puzzle is... I'm in the middle of everything. I am... Um, maybe not the true main character, but Vanessa's still the main character. And maybe somehow getting involved within Vanessa's life pulled me in. Because this note right here says like... I forget what the first one said. Uh, something about mine, your mind. Something mind and your, your mind. Something like that. Mind and mind. I got like a verb. Won't go away. It just keeps like rising, ah, rising from the grave. Won't go away. Okay, so like, so maybe with this note, it's because my life got intertwined with Vanessa's somehow, I assume, since she seems to be more of the main character and the focus in a way. And now I'm stuck in the asylum because maybe she dragged me down, quote, like that. Not the right words, but that's the only words I can really think of. Maybe she drugged me into all this. So in the beginning, my mind was free. But now in the end, I am also uh, afflicted by whatever uh, mind things are going on also. So I got indirectly trapped. Is my so far theory of what's going on. And maybe the yellow demon, who's a new enemy within this uh, realm, is mine. It's my thing, since it's the new one. The whispers under the night sky. Our last moment. Do we die? 
Are we like stuck in like a like a looping hell? A limbo? And that's where I fit in? I'm not going over there. Oh, wait. I don't know if I should go over there or not. Like, I don't want to progress the game story if there's still stuff to go see. Because if there's stuff down there, but I don't, uh, I don't think uh, they would set it up for this to be the end thing. And down there be like extra lure and stuff. I think we'd visit here and then it would boot us down there next. So, Doc. Okay, so the number's here, so... Let's go adventure down to the basement and check it out. Because the game can't progress. Until I grab that note. So we can at least walk down here and check it out to see if there's anything cool. Because he really doesn't put multiple endings in his game either. So it's kind of like one true ending and that's it. Okay, so there was nothing. But I just want to miss like fun stuff. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> All right. Well, Doc, I'm going to go ahead and take this. This is the last day for the asylum. I will end the suffering with my own hands. Those hands? Uh, but I still think in some way we're all, this is still all like a mental prison. So, uh, if that's the case, uh, uh, we're all stuck like a sort of like in a brain asylum. Whose brain are we stuck in? Which I still think we're still sort of stuck in Vanessa's and we're, she's pulling in like memories and thoughts of people she's known. And that's who gets stuck here. Maybe. Possibly. Or I'm just rambling. I wasn't here. I was never real. But you still killed me. Maybe I killed her. Maybe throw out everything I just thought. Oh. I'm going to walk back out here and walk back in and you're, uh, we're we'll just going to pretend that didn't happen. Whoa. Hey, yeah, nope. That's still a thing. I don't want to be a witness to a murder. So let's, uh, give you a few moments and here I come. It better be cleaned up and it's still dead. Still death. You okay? She will be all right. Unless it wasn't me that killed with it. Unless that wasn't supposed to be a me, it was the doctor that killed her. Because the doctor failed to treat her issues, the things she was dealing with. So maybe you're actually the murderer. Because, uh, well, not really a murderer. Like, if you just failed to help, then... Unless you're just an asshole and did it on purpose. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Yeah, um... Going to back out. We uh, just want to. Oh, mm, nope. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. I'm out of here. Say anything different? Do I have to sit in the electric chair? Get a lobotomy? Yeah, I think I have to go outside. Oh, yeah, there's a moon. Bye, bye, bye.
All right, that was Sorrow Asylum 3. I'm going to let play for a second because the song is pretty cool. But also I have my headphones on max, so it's really deafening. I could just turn it down. That's always an option. Let's do the smart route and turn it down so we can have some cool music. If it's too loud, I'll try to like adjust it so it's not too loud for you. But yeah, that was Sorrow Asylum 3. And I enjoyed it like all the other ones. It was fun. It was creepy. It got me with some good scares. It gave me chills a lot. Uh, I did have a lot of fun uh, exploring and rambling on and uh, having silly fun here and there. It's, even despite me still doing that, it still got me pretty good. I'm still interested in the storyline and what's going on. Like, I was to try like piece it together from like the first to now like every time like afterwards i try to like figure out like okay what's going on or what my take on it and stuff was so like i kind of had like that idea for a moment where i was like trying to figure it out when i was walking back and forth but then like if we take it like how she said that she was never real but you killed me anyway or you killed me i was wondering like is that uh actually pointed towards me or the doctor like Sometimes I'm feeling like maybe I'm like the, the third party. I'm not the main character while Vanessa's the main character. And I'm just experiencing the things happening. Or she's like trying to find a doctor. They keep like somehow missing each other in this asylum. I, in a joking way. But I still, ha <clears throat> I still sort of feel like a, my, I, my thought process of how uh, I'm just the third party. I got dragged into it and I'm seeing it unfold between those two whether the doctor was actually trying to help and failed or only helping enough to keep her there in the asylum which I think throughout the game sometimes I think he was actually trying to help just wasn't very successful and uh, Delu is just to me a douchey parasite like he's there he wants the suffering and all that fun stuff to keep her there to keep everyone there with their own like sorrow suffering and all that fun stuff so he's just a douche uh the new entity the weird yellow thing i assume that's because that's my character's interaction with the world and that's my me may, maybe my delu in some way but the way in, uh, so kills her, he's ending the asylum and the death of the asylum. So, uh, if we do, maybe if the doctor did kill her, it would end the asylum and it would be the means of her death. But if we're still like in the whole like mental prison kind of thing, uh, and kind of like a. I'm just thinking like maybe it's like a mental prison and we're playing through it and maybe my character is just a thought or a memory of a character or a person she's interacted with that had some kind of significant meaning so now I'm kind of like watching it play out in her mind even though I'm not a real real being within the game and a doctor killing them or whatnot or maybe uh maybe some assistant stuff but a lot of theories, a lot of guesses, uh, but that's what that's something I enjoy about VDOS's games is uh, trying to figure out like my take on what's going on or my theory of what's going on. I don't know how often I'm close. I'm not I'm not sure how often I'm right. Uh, I am a part of the Discord. Sometimes I'll poke in there to see if there's any questions or people asking things, just out of curiosity to see what people's takes are on it, if they do ask or bring up stuff. So, but yeah, another good one. I always enjoy a good VDOS game. I enjoy seeing when they're released and I've got to play them when they do. And like I said before, check out stuff, all sorts of good stuff. We, you have this whole series here. Die the Bunny was really good. It was a f uh, fun, creepy Easter uh, sort of horror game. He did a lot of like a seasonal uh, holiday horror games for a little bit and they were all pretty fun. But yeah, check them out. There's a whole list of them, easy to find. Otherwise, if you made it this far, 
why not like, comment, subscribe, do whatever your brain meat desires. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know uh, your take on everything that happened here. If you've seen one and two, let me know uh, your thoughts as it progresses. Because I know the number two, I believe, was doing callbacks to number one. So, but it's also been like a while, so I was trying to remember everything that happened in the other ones. So, but anyways. Thank you for wasting some time, and I will catch you later.